Hello everyone! This is Reason Pleasant You episode 8. In episode 7 Jennifer Burb started her career in show business and went from 0 to level 3 and today we are playing the oldies and their less lucky daughter Mary Sue. Oh, look how many wants about Jennifer Herb has. He wants to flirt with Jennifer. Come here, Herb. I'm going to give you a secondary aspiration. Herb is going to be popularity because he is super extroverted and honestly, I can hardly see him with anything else. Like, he wasn't doing that great in his career, he doesn't have so many skills. Well, he can probably be a secondary family, because after all, he stayed with Coral for their entire life. Well, maybe I should give him family to balance him and make him think less about Jennifer and more about Coral. Okay, let's give him family. Ah, uh, bromance, local legend. <laughs> Sounds weird. Slower need decay, social and comfort is more useful. Uh, I don't think I changed... Uh... Oh, Coral is asleep. Wait, that's a perfect opportunity to do Herb's most favorite thing. I don't think that I changed Herb's uh, one true hobby, because we don't know it yet. I think it's nature, but I'm not sure. It can be nature, I don't mind. Of course, uh, they're not going to get any makeovers. As for Coral, I changed her one true hobby to cuisine because uh, her interest in cooking is maxed out, plus she's interested in culture and in travel. Like, I think that she is interested in uh, different traditional foods and uh, all that stuff. As for her secondary aspiration, normally people give her secondary romance and uh, I find it interesting, like it can be possible, who knows, maybe being in her old age she decided to take revenge on Herb. But I want her to be secondary pleasure, because this woman hasn't worked a day in her entire life. Plus, uh, she only had one child, uh, which is not that stressful, and basically she's been doing nothing. She barely has any skills. Oh. We are given her family tree, fast metabolism, okay. Oh, bladder is definitely useful for an old woman. <gasps> Coral's waking up, Herb. Turn off the computer. Turn off the computer. She must not see this. He wants to be friends with Dina. I don't think Dina would want to be friends with him. His uh, granddaughters are in university family bin. Mary Sue is in the family bin as well. Oh, her fun is so low. Why is that? And look at her new wants. She wants to ask Sim on date. She wants to juggle and dine out with Sim. I see. Coral. Like, look at this. Two cooking skills, which she only got last time we played them. One charisma skill and two cleaning skill points. This woman has been doing nothing. She might be even worse than Brandy. What can we do with you, Herb? You say your hobby is nature. Maybe let's uh, walk you to a community lot. To Woodland Park. It's just across the street. He shouldn't get lost. Well, play chess, you want to. Slow dance with Sim. Ask Sim on date. Let's focus on this and probably they'll go on date with Coral. <gasps> now he'll meet this girl. I bet afterwards he'll have lots of wants about her. She's a blue water village townie. <gasps> Look at the topic! He's already harassing her. Girl! Tell him to get out. Tell him that he's a creep. It's Halen. Walk home, Herb. 
It's dangerous outside. And as for Mary Sue, I think we'll move her in with her parents at about 6 a.m. Thursday morning, because her needs will be reset and we'll pretend that she spent the night at Cassandra's place. Oh, and she lost her want about having a date. I think, yeah. Herb should be family. After all, he was loyal or almost loyal. I believe he was pretty flirtatious when he was younger. But he kept his family together. He's not as bad as you may think. Look how many ladies are passing by. Are they really into Herb? Herb, go here. Flirt, charm your wife and uh, ask on date <laughs> did you see that he wanted to become a joke he wanted to become a game developer for a second I know what kinds of games he wanted to create. Oh, Herb. It's not as easy as you think. Oh, even Herb was trying to walk like around like Dawn. Kiss. Make out. And are they in love? Finally, something happened and Dina is here. He wanted to chat with Dina. I remember that. And even Kaylin is here. Clearly, sh she is looking for Chester. Flirt. Goose. <laughs> well, oh, he wants to woohoo with Coral and Car. The problem is, they don't have a car. Daniel is here. <gasps> oh, well, I don't know who should uh, lecture Daniel. <laughs> Let it be Coral, she's more sane. How did you dare cheating on my girl? What were you thinking? Your family is no more because of you. My daughter is the most attractive woman in this neighborhood. Oh. <gasps> Herb is already pushing Kaylin! Coral, open your eyes! What the hell is this man doing? And look, he is greeting Dina. Flirt. Hit on Dina. <laughs> Let, let's see. <laughs> Look at Coral! <laughs> Herb was out of his mind. Oh, the date is lame now. But at least uh, something happened. Oh, well. Irritate. Insult Herb. Tell him that he is an old fool. And look, look, he's already pushing another girl. He deserved everything. Irritate, insult. You're an old fool, Herb. I'd rather chew my own leg off than go out on a date with you again. <laughs> yes, he clearly humiliated in fr her in front of everyone. Walk home, guys. Oh, look at their relationship! <gasps> look at it! She hates him now. But she still thinks that he is super attractive. Let's uh, smooth talk, your wife. Tell her that, yeah, you were wrong. You simply couldn't help it. It's weird that Herb is not interested in fashion. 
Oh, probably that's because all of his colleagues uh, that he used to flirt with were dressed the same way. They're gossiping about Lilith and her unhappy childhood. Oh, what next? Watch TV. <laughs> She's mad at Dina. Dina did nothing. Yes, they're already friends. Well, that's uh, how it works when you are old and your husband is a little bit flirtatious. You fall apart, then you are in love again. Have two loves at once. I've got bad news for you, Herb. Had affair with Dina? It wasn't an affair. That's what his poor old dirty brain does to him. He already pictured way too much in his m brain. Oh, you're my dear old fool. And they're in love again. Typical herb, typical coral. They've been together for many, many years. She clearly knew that uh, he used to flirt with his colleagues, but she was always forgiven. I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that she was living off him. Note to self, don't go out with Coral again. Yeah, probably it's a bad idea, especially when you try to flirt with younger ladies during the date. Oh, she burned the pancakes. I knew it. She only has three cooking skill points. That is way more humiliating than than having your husband cheat on you in front of everybody's eyes. Can she call anyone at all? I wanted her to call Angela, but as I said, Angela is not available for calling. I also wanted her to be friends with Denise. Oh, there is Lucy. I think uh, they could be friends. Uh, Denise is, uh, I think, three years younger than Coral, but they are both elderly ladies. They could get along. Plus, I seriously suspect that uh, Denise's one true hobby is cuisine as well. Unclog. Do you have any mechanical skill? No, you haven't. But you are the man in this family. Coral. Well, let's take Coral on a stroll. So she came to this art gallery. I don't know what for. But let her sit and relax. Probably Denise will show up. Well, let's walk straight to J'adore Bakery. There is Gilbert. But it looks like Denise isn't here. Which is strange. Well, let's see what Herb is going to do without supervision. <gasps> there is Denise. Greet her. Greet her. Yes. The game is trying to push these two together. But we'll greet her as a potential friend for Coral. Oh, he wants to learn lifelong happiness. Ah, uh, talk, chat. I think Herb's favorite films are mostly about younger ladies. And yeah, they only have one bolt in spite of his massive attraction perk, so I won't make him pursue Denise. Oh, Brianna Custer is into herb. Lounge. Coral, Coral, that's your potential uh, friend. They surely get along much better than Herb and Denise. They're talking about school, probably sharing their experiences 
about raising their only precious children. By the way, I'm 100% sure that Mary Sue had been raised exactly the same way as she was later raising Angela herself. Jennifer came. Uh, Coral's uh, bio says that uh, uh, she's got a successful daughter, so it's crystal clear that Mary Sue was brought up to be successful. You just came to use our toilet, Jennifer? That is rude. Just imagine Herb and Coral's faces when Mary Sue will show up at their doorstep with her belongings. It will be humiliating not to Mary Sue only. It will mean that uh, their project uh, failed completely. Mary Sue has worked for... Oh, not again, Herb! Oh, they became best friends. Mary Sue has worked for around 15 years and uh, she is only level 3 in her career. And uh, she was very miserable in her... <gasps> Herb wants to fall in love with Jennifer. Mary Sue was very miserable in her marriage. Unfortunately, Herb and Coral, you clearly were not the best parents. You were pushing Mary Sue just like she did with Angela later. But because uh, Mary Sue and Angela have uh, different genetic personalities, uh, that's why after all the pushing and pressing, uh, Angela became spineless and self-conscious and uh, Mary Sue became very stubborn and sometimes even aggressive. And Herb doesn't even try to leave Jennifer. He's always beside her. And again, these two are at the table together. They're talking about adoption, they're talking about Mary Sue. Perhaps Jennifer says that, you know, if your daughter put on makeup for my brother, he wouldn't have cheated on her. Oh, Jennifer wanted to meet someone new and she met Denise. Well, that's a nice uh, acquaintance. I'll put Lafoy leftovers. What is it? Hand out. Okay. Oh, there is Dina. There is Dina. Luckily, Coral cannot see her. Ah, oh, talk. Chat. Oh, oh, talk. Bad mouth. Yeah, bad mouth, Dina. Blame everything on Dina. <laughs> and uh, as I said, they're talking about food. Let's see the interaction. Of course, she's talking about Dina. You know that Jan, bad girl that Mortimer married. Everything looks innocent. They used to be partly related with uh, Jennifer, so I think Coral does not suspect anything. Okay, say goodbye to everyone. Oh, all these two are trying to play, so sweet. <laughs> She's mad at Dina. Dina is not the one to blame. Let's make sure that they are in love. Relax, you. Relax. Look at her face. <laughs> Woohoo! You were feeling romantic towards Jennifer, but... Better woohoo with your own wife, Herb. And now let's go to the neighborhood screen to, to move Mary Sue in. Oh, her last name is still pleasant. We'll change it as soon as we 
move her in with her parents. Mary Sue is here and she is back to being Mary Sue oldie. She wants to entertain, she wants to talk and she is uh, disposing of our roaches. Coral, change into everyday. Use. She still wants to buy a car. And she still wants to buy a sloppy jalopy. Wow, now she wants to buy a better one. That's good. Mary Sue still has some ambition. Oh, serve so breakfast pancakes. That's perfect. Probably that's Mary Sue's favorite dish. Ah, uh, talk to your father. Chat. Chat with him. You want to? Yes. She wants to be friends with her father, that's nice. And she wants to earn some money. Oh, her couple arrived. Unfortunately, she'll not eat Coral's pancakes. Oh, that's a pity. I don't know. Should we invite Denise over? I think we should. Well, Herb, now the room is occupied by your daughter, but you can watch your favorite films while she is at work. Great, Denise. <laughs> Denise was determined to play this game with Coral. <gasps> There's Daniel! Oh, he's here because he's mad at Mary Sue! Great Daniel Pleasant. Oh, they're yelling at him because he's still in the newspaper. <laughs> oh, Daniel, you lost the newspaper. Insult Daniel for stealing the newspaper or for being so mean to your daughter. Ah, oh, talk. Bad mouth Dina again. Oh. <gasps> She could do as she's told or she could secretly vote in support of the bill. Well, Mary Sue is very mean and she is mean to the point where she doesn't listen to her boss. That's why her boss doesn't like her. So let's uh, lobby for. Wow, she earned 5,000 simoleons. That's where your stubborn nature helped you Mary Sue and she also earns one charisma skill point Malcolm Landgrab Wow Malcolm I didn't expect to see you here oh Mary Sue will get the next promotion I think her anger towards Daniel made her more active at work she used to sleep at work but now she is all active she makes decisions, she contradicts her boss, and it pays off. Oh, they're talking about their date again. She's like, yes, you behaved like an old fool. Remember all the days that, we, that we've spent together. We've raised our daughter to be all successful. Oh, Mercy's is back. And she's promoted! Look at all this money! Finally, Mary Sue, finally you're getting somewhere! She wants to buy a car and now she can easily afford it. No, get leftovers, Mary Sue. She's level 4 campaign manager. Meet Mary Sue's new car. Unfortunately, uh, the spot isn't great, but that's where we had to place it. And Ferb is going to take a look. Yes, your daughter earned it herself. She wants to invite someone over. Clearly to boast with the car. Oh, there is Kaylin. She's still mad at Kaylin, by the way. But their relationship is already fine. 
Oh, let's invite Darren over. They will become friends immediately. Oh. She wants to take a look at her new car herself. Oh, she also wants to buy a bar. No, Mary Sue, you shouldn't start drinking. Or you'll turn into brandy. Mm. Entertain, joke. Chat. Coral, pick up can, clean up. Oh, she's telling him about her demotion. You know why I was demoted. Because of uh, my unhappy marriage. And everyone who says that it was because I'm stupid is wrong. Are you finally friends or not? Yes. Yes. Oh, she needs one creativity skill point. Other than that, she is ready for her next promotion. Appreciate, Darren. Well, appreciate. Tell him that he is a good artist. Cassandra told you that he painted a perfect portrait of Mortimer. Entertain, Darren. Entertain. Joke. Joke again. Then you could use, take a shower, and your mother will say goodbye to Darren. Or probably invite him, call him to meal. Talk, chat. What want did he realize? I have no idea. Mm. You know, like I was flirting with my colleagues, but I never cheated on your mother. Never. Yes, dad. You were much better. Oh, Daniel. He did it again. Oh, Mary Sue became friends with her father. That's nice. Answer the phone. Herb, you can use this and go to bed. No. That old dude keeps on calling Coral. Pick up can. Clean this up. Or, of course, Daniel saw Mary Sue's brand new car. And he got so jealous that he couldn't help but kick their can. Well, I think now she can go to bed. Unfortunately, she will not be promoted next time. Well, anyway, she already did pretty well for herself. Her salary is still a lot lower than Daniel's, but she bought the car and he didn't. And when she gets the money he owes her, she will be loaded. Use, continue practice. She, of course, wants to go to work. Herb is finally waking up. It's almost 7 a.m. And I think it's time to end this episode. It too wasn't very eventful, but on the other hand, we saw the, dynam the dynamics uh, in uh, Herb and Coral's relationship. Plus, Mary Sue earned a lot of money and uh, she is now redeemed. We know that uh, she probably isn't as stupid as she seemed to be and uh, all her problems were connected to her miserable marriage. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!